Um, I started playing guitar when I was five, and uh, it was my dad. My dad totally said, dude, you gotta play an instrument, and why not a guitar? And which is funny, because, you know, you're five, and, you know, I could barely hold a thing, but my dad was really, like, he really wanted to be a, me to be a musician, because he, he was a musician, and he, was, he went to party, he was always life of the party, so he wanted someone to carry the torch, I guess. <laughs> and, I thought, and he thought, wow, you're five. You can almost hold a guitar, you're gonna play that thing. So I'm really glad that he, he pushed for it. He actually bought me a, an electric guitar when I was five. See, I don't remember the name on the headstock because I don't have it anymore, but it was a hollow body teardrop shape. But it was a copy of something because I think it was, he couldn't afford, you know, the fully blown box or something. So it must have been like a, a copy of, uh, of something. <laughs> My influences. When I first started playing guitar, um, I got into songs. So I listened to my sister's AM radio and I tried to pick up songs as, as, as I could. And, uh, and then when I discovered solos, it was uh, when I heard uh, Eddie Van Halen for the first time. And it was like, is that a violin? <laughs> you know, I, I had no idea that it was a guitar. And then when I found out it was a guitar and he was doing all that stuff. Uh, it was really influential. I don't think anybody influenced me as much as Eddie Van Halen because, because of how different he was than anything else that was going on at that time. So if you, in 1978, like I'm trying to think back, it was stuff like uh, Rod Stewart, Hot Legs, and guitars were playing that kind of stuff like that. They're doing stuff like that. So when Eddie Van Halen came out and he was ripping all that stuff, it was like pretty amazing for a young guitar player to hear that. Got Jimmy Page and Jimi Hendrix, and I really loved the guys that that really stood outside the box. You know, there was a group of players that everything they did, it, you could interchange all these guys from bands, and everybody sounded the same, had the same tone. And um, guys like Hendrix, who he just took it, he was like from another planet. It was like an alien came down here. I'm going to show you how it's really done, right? <laughs> Uh, guys like Jimmy Page who also like he was a, an amazing producer too but it also went into his guitar playing and his guitar parts when he recorded as well he thought as a producer as well as a songwriter and a, and, a, and a member of a band so he always I can play it like normal or I can play it like not normal and that's the the, the avenue he always took was the, the non-normal uh, aspect and approach to guitar playing and then there's guys that a lot of people haven't heard of, like Ulrich Roth, who was the original lead guitar player in the Scorpions, who in 1973 was blazing. <laughs> like, nobody played like that. He was doing stuff in 1973, like, I mean, he influenced Eddie Van Halen. He influenced a lot of the great players in the late 70s, because he was just doing stuff that nobody else was doing. He was playing really fast, uh, syncopated and articulate uh, phrasings, and he was he, legato, uh, whammy bar craziness and stuff like that. He was just Ulrich Roth. Yeah. I love Joe Walsh. See, it's hard. You leave people out. I love Joe Walsh. I, I love how, what he did with the James Gang. And uh, even when he joined the Eagles, he was doing stuff that was just so melodic, yet so, so passionate. And he played with so much tone in, in his hands. You could hear the tone in Joe Walsh's hands. He still can. He's awesome. Jeff Beck. He's the guy that even today, if he picks up a guitar and plays one note, you know it's Jeff Beck. It's the way he plays, and he, pl he plays without a pick, and he uses his fingers. And uh, he always has a great tone, and it's a really round, warm, yet edgy tone. And uh, there isn't a lot of guys like that. Like, I mean, B.B. King, man, he plays one note. And he's got this vibrato that, it's not like a, like a rock Zach Wilde vibrato where you're shaking like that. It's like he's got this feel that, it doesn't sound too fast, it doesn't sound too slow, it's just perfect. And it's just a really cool tone that he gets from his hands. I, again, you know, tone from the hands. The instrument plays a big part of it, obviously, but this has a lot to do with it too.